we continue to inform you about the events on the front line of the Russian-Ukrainian war. This is the Front Map channel. Before we start, friends, don't forget to like this video and support of the Ukrainian people fighting for their freedom and leave your comments below this video. In the Kapyansk Lyman sector, Russian invaders are trying to break through the defense. They are regrouping, bringing in new units from the territory of the Russian Federation to increase the number and combat capability of their troops. In the Bakhmut sector of the Donetsk region, Ukrainian defense forces continued to conduct offensive operations south of the town of Bakhmut. The artillerymen of the 22nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, of the Ukrainian army, posted footage of their work against the Russian invaders. However, in the Bakhmut sector, the village of Klishchivka is still under Russian control. Between Bakhmut and Kurdyumivka, the Russian army is trying to organize a defense line along the railroad. The meaning of these actions is obviously an attempt to create favorable conditions for themselves to keep the bakhmut horlivka highway under their control. The Russian military command realizes that if a breakthrough occurs anywhere on this section of the front, the entire Bakhmut direction will collapse. The Ukrainian government has announced certain successes of the Ukrainian army in this area, so the very thing that the Russians are so afraid of may soon happen here. By the way, Ukrainian soldiers from the 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade have damaged the fuel tank of a Russian Ural 4320 at the front in Donetsk region. The price of a new vehicle of this type is almost $2 million. Ukraine's offensive on the southern front also continues. Russian military bloggers reported that the Russian army managed to recapture several positions near the village of Mikulsk, in the western part of Donetsk region. Ukrainian defenders released footage of Ukrainian troops from the 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, using cluster munitions to hit Russian artillery positions, near the village of Mikiksk. The offensive is currently underway near the village of Zavid Bishanya. Here, the Russian Army Command has almost completed the withdrawal of advanced units to the Pryat Zavid Bishanya line, and the Russians are now defending themselves. Near Zavid Bishanya, Ukrainian soldiers from the Omega Special Purpose Anti Terrorist Unit fired at a Russian BMP 3 with an ATGM worth up to $2 million. The shelling caused a fire and catastrophic detonation of ammunition. The offensive also continues in the area near the villages of Novodonolivka and Novoprokopivka, near the village of Robotyn. This footage shows Ukraine's gains in the area of Robotyn over the past two weeks, as monitored by Deep State UA. Despite the fact that the events near the village of Robotyn have attracted a lot of attention, Ukrainian troops continue to advance east of the village. Ukrainian troops are currently clearing and restoring captured Russian positions near Robotino. In conclusion, we bring to your attention a video, in which the Ukrainian Special Operations Forces destroyed a command and observation post of the Russian occupiers, in the Bakhmut sector. That's all for today, thank you for watching. If you found our video interesting, please like it and leave a comment.